Hello, today's a bit of a crazy day. I bought a horse I've never seen before. Well, that's not true. I saw a picture of it and a video of it jumping. And I was happy with that, so I bought it. To make things even more exciting is that it's coming from Ireland. He's arriving today. We currently don't have a spare stable. This was a very spur of the moment thing, but we'll figure something out. I'll try and capture my reaction and my mum's reaction because because she's seeing it for the first time as well. But we're not sure how he's going to react when he comes out of the horse box. So it may be all hands on deck and I miss everything. But, oh well. Here's what we know about him. He should be six. 16-2, I say should be because he's coming from Ireland, so you have to take it with a pinch of salt because in my experience, six sometimes means four, but we'll look at his passport. Well, I can measure him against the horses we have in the yard. So we're learning together. He's, he's also dapple grey, which should be obvious to work out, and he's full Irish draft. So that's all about what we know. I'll get into why I bought him later, but now I need to figure out where to put him because we don't have a spare stable. Okay, so he's finally arrived. He's come all the way from Ireland. He came this morning. He's been with us a few hours now. We put him in the paddock just to can stretch his leg because he came with a swollen back leg. But I mean, that's because they stand for quite a long time. So it's gone down, it's all fine. So beautiful. That's all I can kind of say. I'm kind of still speechless that he's with us. We've had tractors going around the yard and he hasn't seemed to mind but because he's obviously come from Ireland and he's travelled throughout the night and the whole of this morning he's obviously really shattered he's a little bit shy but he seems to don't doesn't mind I'm just stroking him so he gets you know used to being touched because you don't know what he's done we've only seen a few videos and a photo so we've looked at his passport as well and he's five which is better than what we expected because we i thought well if he's coming from ireland he's definitely going to be at least four this is uh, absolutely nothing to be worried about uh it's just where they've missed a clip because if you look on his back as well he's got the same mark and it's just where they've missed the clip but we put something on it just in case it's contagious or whatever and he's checked he he is a little bit skinnier he's got a lot more a lot more growing to do but he's quite short isn't he actually it's quite compressed so he's meant to be 16 2 but he's a big 16 2 he's quite short it just makes him look taller hey Carly relax so he's came with a full clip they clipped his feathers I don't want to, you know, I'm just staying well away from his back legs. I'm not sure how he's going to react. So I'm just being a bit careful. They've clipped down here and his feathers. Um, left a little bit for the numner and the saddle. Clipped his head, they clipped the ears. When he first came off this morning, I was with him for 
couple of hours just stroking him and building his confidence up saying it's okay because the tractors were in the yard and I don't want him to spook out and I just wanted to be with him basically uh, he, I turned him out in the paddock and he's rolled he had a good stretch and a roll he didn't react like most horses do when they go absolutely ballistic uh, which is fine not complaining obviously shattered he's probably going to do that later but oh well that'll be a bit of fun and taxi the horse at the end came with a clip as well when he came from Ireland <laughs> with an arrow here so I like the way this is obviously a very Irish thing and then obviously a little bit skinnier but we're gonna feed him up uh, he's already had I think he's on his third hay net <laughs> which, which is quite funny because everyone else has a hay net and it, that lasts the day but big horse big appetite we haven't decided on a name we've got a few to choose um, and I've also put it out on Instagram and they people seem to like a few names but we haven't uh, decided yet and just look how now how wide is he hey Carly leave him alone he's quite narrow but he's got a lot of growing to do a lot of muscle to develop beautiful neck this morning when he was alert I guess you could see the definition and I mean if he's five and he's already got a nice defined neck he's gonna be a beautiful horse um, it's gonna be it's eat us out of house and home <laughs> but oh well I'm going to put a rug on see how he is with that I've just taken a rug off him he seemed to be absolutely fine but I'm gonna put on a comfier rug just because he's actually gonna be in the stable now just a stable rug, nothing fancy. I'm still really, really excited and just still in shock. And I think he is as well, because he's so calm. But, God, I've had horses from Ireland, but we've had them come from a dealer and they've been in England for a couple of weeks and, or a month, in fact. So I've actually tried them. He's the first horse that I've bought where I've only seen, I think, four photos three videos and one photo I mean look at him god hey he's quite uh, sensitive around the head I can touch his cheek I can go up here but I can't check his teeth he still doesn't like this like I must smell bad actually but anyway I smell of haylage because I've been doing hay nets so I've just put him to bed I've given him two hay nets because he's got a hell of an appetite. I've given him two buckets of water and because he's been drinking and eating non-stop since he's arrived. He seemed to have settled down a little bit, but he's also seemed to perk up. Um, he's not as tired. Uh, I, he's obviously a new horse, so I don't know all his quirks. I've just met him. Uh, I seem to like him. However, he, when we bought him, it, he was meant to be 16-2. I've measured him and he's 17 to. That's, that's a hell of a difference. He's a big horse and when he fills out, he's going to be a big substantial horse. So that's, you know, it's going to take a lot of feed to feed him up, to get him big. Also, I haven't fed him because he's on haylage. So if he came off hay straight to haylage, it's a big enough leap. So even more food would just kind of upset his tummy. If you would like to know how he is being ridden, follow because I will and that'd be quite interesting he's the biggest horse I've ever been on um, I've made horses in the past so I, I know that I am experienced with horses but he's definitely the biggest horse I've ever been on apart from that thank you so much for watching if you did watch it uh, drop us a like or a follow so and I'll see you when I ride him